quick I'm gonna go over how to resize your finger joints today and my whatever computer is not not participating with me today or cooperating as I should say so I'm gonna have to do this a little bit trickier um, so real quick today I'm gonna explain on what I do in XES and then I'm going to show you the results because I've already kind of done them in here um, you can see the results on this side so over here I have these this side set to it's like 5.19 millimeters and these are all set to 3 millimeters um, and then over here on this one we actually changed the ones that were 5.19 down to 3 millimeters wide right here and the ones that were three millimeters on this we changed them to the five millimeters so I'm gonna explain to you what I did um, in here we're going to whoops we're going to draw a quick box so we're gonna draw a box over our artwork here and say I'm gonna say that it is 400 and we'll call it this 300. Alright. So 400 by 300. When we export this, we're going to click and drag. And then we are going to right click and, or you can just put Alt X, right click and save as a SVG. Right now you cannot see what's going on because I'm pretty sure this is my save window. So you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to save this as... Um, hexagon SVG 1 since I just did all this um, alright and then when you go to open it back up we're going to open up our resize version that we did and I'm gonna pop over to um, carbide create the, the, the program that I did to do the resizing here in a minute but I'm gonna show you um, how we resize it over here so on that one I actually had this box set to let me see it was 500 by 400 so that was the actual size of the box that I had before so just to keep things the same um, as you can see right now this one's imported in here and it's actually quite a bit smaller than it's supposed to be um, so let's go ahead and make this the 500 and it should pop right to 400 as you can see so now if we click and drag these down here you'll see that they'll line up and then everything's the same size things are moved around a little bit but alright so these guys down here I have I have changed the size oh Sorry, this will be a better rendition over here since these are the ones. Alright, so as you can see, they're lined up. Um, so everything is the right size, how it's supposed to be. So, real quick, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to jump on over to the other. And I'm going to leave links down below for Carbide Create and everything else like that, too. So, thank you. Alright check check clear the sound alright guys so thanks for coming back hopefully you didn't leave <laughs> alright so as you can see here we have it imported in I just opened up my SVG actually here I went right here to import I clicked import and imported my SVG that we just saved over in XCS and then real quick we're gonna go ahead and click this and as you can see it's 500 by 400 for the whole perimeter so it matches what we just had done over there and then when we're gonna come in here and we're going to adjust these basically adjust these tabs so that way we can do our stuff and have it fit our material so again with your material if you have three millimeter thick material, I say I set my tabs for that. You buy one of my files, and your your material it doesn't fit. Well, you need to get a pair of 
pair of calipers and you need to actually measure the thickness of your material because your your climate might actually be a lot more humid so your three millimeters might be three point one millimeters you know so it's just not gonna fit it's not gonna work so in uh, carbide create when you click from the left to the right it will select whatever your cursor goes over if you click from the right to the left um, excuse me from top down anything up doesn't matter which way anything up it will click whatever you cover but from down um, top down it's only going to select whatever you completely cover so if you accidentally click all these guys it's only going to select the thing that was completely covered but if you clicked down here it's going to select everything that it touched so that's a that's an easy way to kind of be a little bit sloppy here um, and still be accurate so real quick we're going to come down here to the node and on this grid spacing before I get too far up here the third box next to setup um, I have all the grid spacing set to one millimeter so that way it's a lot easier you can you, you can work in inches if you want but this way it makes it a lot easier for me just to go ahead and work in millimeters adjusting the tabs um, I think it's a little bit more accurate and just more, a little bit user friendly so here we go and you can you can set that to anything you want say you you really wanted to just make it easy for yourself you could do let's see set the grid see your um let's say your tabs need to be 3.19 inches so you can type or millimeters 3.19 and you can just actually do this so you can just set set your grid to your tabs this is actually going to be the easiest way I don't know why I didn't think about this before thank you guys for making me think I've actually I've done this before but um, alright so on this type of part we're actually going to adjust the um, inside tabs the insides of all the tabs a part like this right here um, you could do either way um, but I would stick and keep everything uniform you can click and drag from here um, and adjust that way so let's come down here and we're going to move that node right there so we're actually just adjusting this tab that's on the inside remember go to node click drag and select everything that's right there now we can just move this whole thing now if we had double the material um, and and before like say if you had to do one millimeter two millimeter three millimeter you could do that but this kind of makes it easier all right so real quick how do we do since we've done these ones um, how do we do these ones right here and how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to come to the third one over here this is a rotate button from transform third one over rotate we're going to rotate this at 60 degree intervals because this thing has six sides, six divided by 360, or 360 divided by six rather, is 60 degrees. So we just went from here to here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move our piece again right there. We're gonna go to node edit, select all these guys, and just move them up. And then once you get into the hang of this, you can do this pretty quick. You can even, um, for your 60 degrees, if you really want to, you can push 60, highlight it, push Control C to copy it. Um, and then when you're done, you can just go ahead and um, see, so we'll, we'll change these guys real quick. Edit, click the nodes, swing them down, done, rotate, Control V, and done. And then see it, it swapped it over, and then we could just keep on going quick as can be. Um, so same thing over here for this kind of guy. Um, say we're gonna move that right there. Um, so again, with this one, you would 
want to here edit these we're gonna do these tabs alright alright so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna select everything here on this second row and we're just gonna pop it from here to here and that's gonna make that whole side section so that's where it kind of gets a little bit tricky if you want to say so now that that's moved we move this out here now we're going to close all these tabs up make them smaller we're going to click and drag the second row again and there we go so this is going to keep the outside dimensions all the same. So your your pieces, your material, your um, project's not going to change sizes. And you just keep on doing that all the way around, but make sure you are lined up to a node. Gosh, I wish XCS would get these. So again, just click and drag this second box here, and then... There you go. It's pretty pretty simple. Um, and then when you're done, just press Control Save, File Save, save it as um, say SVG export or resize. Go back into XCS like I showed you already, and then open it back up. And then when you open it back up, take this whole group and resize it back to the 500 by 400 and everything that we just did will have passed over. Thank you guys.